It is oh, June 7, 2021, 728 p.m., episode 1263. I just remembered I need to get my mail-in ballot out tomorrow uh, in the mail. It has to be, be delivered by Friday at noon, which I, th I think I can get that done. I'm not going to go down there, all the way down to downtown and drop it off. All the way down, like, like a mile and a half. But I'm, just, I'm not going down there. Um, man, it's so hot to walk anywhere. Good for me to take a walk and I have to wait for it to get dark whatever, because I'll just come home sweating profusely. Um, so, um, uh, this is the cartoon that I did today. I, I came up with the idea last Friday and I, and I really, really liked it. And, uh, but I held back on it, um, for a couple of days because, uh, one reason is I was doing something on, on, uh, the anti-democracy fuckers for CNN. So I decided to hold on to this stuff after that was published. And then yesterday I spent like 10 hours on that big tabloid size, uh, full tabloid page size cartoon uh, that you didn't get to see here because I didn't make a video of it. I should have made a video of it, you know, just just name and not drawing it, but maybe just put it up here for like five minutes and you can just stare at it and go, nah, five minute video of it, not maybe, you know, and we could have talked about it. Um, I don't remember if I put this one on TikTok yet or not. These people do hate democracy. TJ's talking about down here the election laws, and uh, he's like, "Stop calling them racist. They're all about IDs and nothing but IDs." TJ, you know you're being dishonest, and you know I'm going to call you out for that. Um, it's not just about IDs. And by the way, that is racist. Uh, whenever you shut down places to get IDs in rural black counties, like they did in Alabama, so making it very difficult for people to get IDs. You're, you're acting like that they're offering everybody in these places free IDs. They're not. They're not. You are extremely dishonest about this. So when you you have to lie about your position, you're wrong. You're wrong. If you weren't wrong, you'd be telling the truth. Ooh, I like the way that sounds. If you weren't wrong, you wouldn't be lying about it. Speaking of guitars, okay, Scott, he likes my Kamala elephants in the way I, you know, I said I play guitar on here. And he mentioned some cartoonists who play guitar. Bruce McKinnon is phenomenal. That guy is so good. Dwayne Powell, who recently passed away, he had a vintage collection of guitars. And his wife uh, asked me to help her. Uh, well, first I offered uh, to price them for her to sell after he passed away. And then I, they were just so nice that, that I was too scared to help her price them because I didn't want to give her bad eye information. Bob Krieger plays. He's really good, too. He and McKinnon are just jammed together a lot. Good friends. Rob Rogers and Tom Tolles. I've never heard Tom Tolles, but I have heard Rob Rogers. He even borrowed my guitar once at a convention. First time I met him in 1990 or 91 in Memphis, he I saw him play, and he played this one song he wrote in it, and I still remember some of it, and it was like 1991. And uh, he's really good. Um, another a couple of other guys who played, Nate Bueller, because at that Pittsburgh convention where I loaned Rob my guitar, uh, he came to my hotel room, nothing freaky, and he jammed in my guitar a little bit. That was Nate Bueller, that I just said, right? And Mike Ramirez plays. Mike Ramirez has some nice guitars, and he's a piano player, too. Uh, he has this really nice, uh, I think it was a Takamini electric. He has the Fender Strat, Japanese Strat, that I never did get to see. It's inside a case somewhere. And uh, I forgot what else. He had something else that was really nice. He didn't even want me to touch it. <laughs> it was so nice. And then he said, yeah, I can play it. But I never did because they were so freaky about it. It's like, I'm just not going to touch it. Uh, Robert Cortino says, my last cartoon was very poignant. Going with Kamala and stuff. Uh, Kamala and the Republicans trying to keep her from voting. And the federal court has been stacked with judges who will likely uphold all the new Jim Crow laws, as, as Robert Cortino is pointing out. I believe everybody that was appointed by Donald Trump should be removed from office. I really freaking do. Uh, they should just resign. And I had to stop this for a second now. I don't even remember where I was. But yeah, I mean, these laws are very, very racist. They are. TJ is trying to say, oh, they're not racist, but they are racist. Uh, they're anti democratic. Everything Republicans are doing is anti democratic. They're trying to kill the country, uh, they're trying to go for a fascist state. It's just like with this, with, with this cartoon. Trump's telling people that there's that he, he ordered an insurrection. He used he he weaponized his presidency. He did the most dangerous thing any president has ever done. Putin's hacking us thanks to Trump. He helped him out with this. He just ignored it. Didn't do much to, to build up our infrastructure against it. 
McCarthy and McConnell are, are aiding and abetting by won't even investigate an insurrection. A fucking insurrection of all things, and they won't investigate it. And Republicans are investigating the election, auditing, and, and preventing uh, voting. So, there you go. Everybody have a great Monday night. See you Tuesday. Bye.